Hey y'all, this is your girl Jamie here. What is going on, J Squad? How are y'all? If you haven't already hit that like button, make sure you do so. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Well, Kim Kardashian, woo, her Mother's Day. <laughs> I can't even say I'm shocked. Her kids came out swinging. Yes, especially Saint, her oldest son, <laughs> her seven-year-old, came out swinging for his mama, y'all. I don't know if it's unpredictability, kind of like Kanye, if that's the Kanye coming out in him, but it's awfully funny, y'all. What am I talking about? Let me tell y'all what I'm talking about. Let's start with her youngest daughter, Chicago. She is so cute. Well, obviously, I guess at school or whatever, she come home with a little card, but inside it said, all about my mom. Let me tell you about my mom. My mom is 22, yeah, in Kim's wildest of dreams. That she's 22 years old. She likes to sleep with me. The best thing she cooks is mom doesn't cook. She has a chef. Y'all, I believe Kim Kardashian is not the domestic type of woman. <laughs> she is so narcissistic. She's only worried about, we know it, herself. Y'all, but, okay, let's keep on trucking here. Her favorite food is salad. Shh, please. Her favorite thing she does to relax is lay down in bed whoo y'all that was a mouthful her daughter man i'm telling y'all kids will tell it like it is yeah she lays in her bed all right <laughs> and then it goes on sweet little chicago was like we like to play together she is really good at going to the gym she probably just meant plastic surgeon she probably didn't know the word for that <laughs> As you can see, my mom is special because she loves me. I mean, that's cute. But like I said, and like you see on the, the picture there, you can always trust your kids to be brutally honest. Well, Chicago's, hers wasn't as bad. I mean, it was just, you know, something, you know, her age group would say. Of course, Kim, being a huge narcissist, had to be like, oh, she called me 22. In her dream, she wishes she was still 22. She keeps trying to, you know, get her face and her neck and everything to look 22 still. But as y'all see from that picture right there, look at her cheekbones. It, you could tell she's done had the reason people get them lines in their cheekbones like that is from having way too much work done. Look at Priscilla Presley one day. She hers is horrible looking like, whew, y'all, yeah, that's a whole nother video. But, okay, so, I mean, what, what her daughter had to say was really, really just genuine, something like a, a little kid would say. Super duper cute. I mean, it wasn't that bad. But the narcissist in, in Kim had to come out swinging on her daughter. Like, it's ridiculous about her daughter saying that her mommy doesn't cook, that she has a chef. Well, Kim showed, she posted a picture of... Wherever their that family is from, you know, I mean, I get it. They all want to be a different race every other year because they have so many different faces. One one moment they think they're white. One minute they think they're black. One minute they think they're Italian. One minute they think they're Asian. One minute they, I mean, it's just insane. But wherever they're from, they she showed this picture of the pancakes that they make from where they're from, but... And she captioned it with, Shy was wrong, I do cook, LOL. Now, I beg to differ about this picture, y'all, because I didn't see her physically cooking them. The chef could have cooked them. But it just looks like something like you cook up a burrito and stuff in. I mean, really, all you did was fry it up on the, you know, I mean, <laughs> let me stop because we all know Kim, she's not the domestic type and no type of way. She is straight up mommy dearest. Now, we all know you can't turn a garden utensil into a housewife. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. But let's get back into the story. She's basically got her nine-year-old North. You know, she's got her groomed enough, I guess, to where North didn't come out swinging and saying anything out of pocket. She just said that, her mom makes her day every day, and she loves her kind of stuff. But her son, 
little Mr. Seven Year Old Saint. He came. He came with. He came for. He he came with receipts. He's like, yeah, I got stuff to back what I'm. You know, back what I'm saying up. <laughs> and he did it with a Yeezy shirt on, y'all. Like, <laughs> I bet Kanye was like, yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> But what am I talking about? Let me tell y'all. A lot of people, you know, a lot of fans had, a, you know, a lot of reactions to the stuff that their seven-year-old said. And he gave her, you know, a video post. And, in, you know, in the video post, he said that, Mom, I'm very grateful for you. I know I mean, um, I know I'm mean to you a lot and say you're nothing to me, but you mean the world to me. I love you more than anything, he said, wearing a Yeezy shirt. <laughs> you're my favorite in the family. I even love you more than my cute little brother, Sam. I love you. And then he signed off, you know, on the video. <laughs> yeah, y'all. He flat out told Kim Kardashian that you are nothing to me. And I know I'm mean to you. I'm going to tell you what. That would never be none of my kids. But I don't treat my kids like Kim Kardashian does. Like Mommy Dearest. Woo, but the first thing that came to mind was. For a seven year old to be saying something like that. There's got to be some truth behind it. Like there's something going on in that household. That and I thought that he's got to be hearing that from somewhere. Maybe he hears Kanye telling Kim that, you know, oh, you're nothing to me, da-da-da-da-da, you know, about his mama. I don't know, but it just seems like <laughs> whatever Kim's like, I know Kim's acting like she's going to college to become, you know, she's in all these college law classes, and she's got all skims going on, and she's got this going on, and she's in New York right now, and she's on the Today Show up there, and she goes to the Met Gala, and she's got all this fancy highfalutin tootin' stuff that she's going to, all these events, and this and this and that, and she's just such a, she just, in her mind, her narcissistic mind, she just really truly thinks that she's a businesswoman and she's got all these business meetings and she's going to be an American horror show because she's an, a, a A-list actress and she's so great. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, in her delusional little brain, pea brain, <laughs> but in reality, she's just a huge narcissist and she needs to get, she needs to put a pause for the cause. She needs to Take a minute from all of that stuff that I just said, all them events and this, this and that. And she needs to worry about putting her own house in order because something ain't right. You know, especially for her oldest son, that's only seven. And it's not even like he said, oh, because I, you know, I don't know. I just find it real disturbing for a seven year old. It's just a random thing for a kid to say like it's not something normal but so he's obviously hearing it from somewhere or that's how he really feels but it's just I don't know maybe it's just me but I just kind of just yeah I don't know y'all this is <laughs> it's not every day you hear a seven-year-old kid say that about his own mama like that man Look, I'm just on here telling y'all my point of view, my opinion, and a little bit else in between. Now, y'all, everybody may not agree with me, but I, I do love hearing everybody's thoughts and opinions and ideals and stuff on just anything and everything. Sometimes, you know, it, it does make, when you hear other people's opinions on stuff, it does, you know, change your mind sometimes. Or it makes you see things differently. But... This is, I don't know, this here though, like, that little boy, I, right there, that's the gospel. He is preaching what he's living. And there's got to be a lot of, there's got to be a lot of tox, just toxic stuff going on in that home. Like, Kim's just never home. But what is going on? When these kids do see mom or dad or both of them together, Something is not like the cylinders ain't clicking together like no. 
she needs to have her butt home cancel all her stuff that she's got going on that makes her think she's you know a delusional narcissistic businesswoman and she needs to just worry about getting her own house in order being a mom and worrying about them kids because I keep telling y'all she needs to be saving all that money that she's got and all that stuff all that money she's spending stuff on she better be saving it because she's going to need so much money in the future for all four of her kids for them therapy bills because they gonna add up quick y'all all four of her kids are gonna need therapy but for real though Kim really needs to nip that in the bud real quick because that little boy's only seven she can still do something about what's going on in her home and her spending time with them kids while they're young because that's press that right there is just priceless like that's the precious time that you don't get back like that's what she don't I don't think she understands and I get it she's money hungry and the mom that she had and she didn't even this narcissistic witch didn't even you know say anything about her mama until the next day until Monday <laughs> and then she posted something like I would hope she like sent her a gift or flowers or wouldn't seen her or something but she didn't even post nothing about her until the next day <laughs> like what is wrong with this family like this family is so odd y'all but if y'all haven't already hit that like button make sure you do so and if you're new here go ahead and subscribe I try to keep it real y'all <laughs> Just like if I was sitting here talking to one of my girlfriends, because when I talk to my little girlfriends, yeah, it's it all comes out. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly, y'all. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Do you think that's what he's seeing at home, little seven-year-old saint? Or do you think that's just Kanye, the unpredictability coming out in him? <laughs> I don't know, but I personally think it's odd for a seven-year-old to even come out, especially on Mother's Day, about his mama, man. Whew. I don't know. I don't understand it, but let me know what y'all think, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.